How's it going YouTube? My name is Johnny Robertson and I'm a tra I'm currently training myself to be an animator in my spare time. Uh, but I normally do a Twitch channel called uh, twitch.tv ironcore1 uh, where I stream every day. And one of the users asked uh, this question whilst I was doing uh, 3D animation. He said he wanted to know how did I have my reference in the background uh, which moves along with my animation. How do I show this bit right here? How do I import my own reference? So I'm going to quickly sh show you that now. So it's very simple. Uh, what piece of software you'll need? You need QuickTime. Oh, I'm currently using QuickTime. Uh, you need Maya, obviously, because I'm using that piece of software for the animation. And I think obviously you need a bit of reference of yourself or anything out there on the internet. But for the time being, uh, I'm going to use my own stuff. So let me just do that right. Do that right now. Uh, let me just um, open up my panel here. Let's show you where my reference is, which is right here. Uh, reference nicely organized as you can probably tell so this is my reference uh, at the moment this is me thinking to myself got an idea mm, bad idea mm, really bad idea uh, and that's as simple as my reference is uh, and so what I want to do is I want to import this into Maya so I can use that for my reference uh, all you need to do is open it up in QuickTime if you've not got that uh, it's quite handy I'm pretty sure you can do this uh, in Premiere Pro but for my personal reason I'm going to use QuickTime because I think it's just a bit quicker. Open it up in QuickTime which it's doing right now. Here it is. Let me just shrink that down for you. Uh huh. Right, okay cool. So what, what I want to do is kind of just you can do this. You can like kind of trim it down. I'm just going to trim it down to say something like this. So hopefully when it plays it should play this section here. So I've grabbed the little uh, crop bars, put that where I want it to be. Uh, go to, uh, I think it's edit and trim selection, and that should like it's cut it down to that section there. It doesn't matter how long. I'm just showing this as a ref, uh, as more of a guideline. Right. Okay. Now with that done, I want to export this across into a where is it? Uh huh. Export. There it is. Ex I think it's export. Yeah, it is right. Okay, make sure your settings are set to this. It's got a. I've let's let's back up a bit here. Let's take a step back for a second here, Johnny. I can't make it any bigger. It's a bit annoying. So you want to make sure when you're doing stuff like this, you're always in a very organized location. So for my, I'm going to create a new folder in in the location I want it to be in. In this case, it's where my scene is with my uh, file projects. I'm going to call this uh, YouTube ref tut ignore my bad spelling uh, I'm, I'm gonna place it in there and what you want to do is make sure you, your name conventions is very important so I'm gonna call this ref obviously you can call it whatever you like uh, but make sure you put dot zero zero I think it's zero one and what that do is that when you create the uh, file or when you export all the the animation across into TIFF files it'll do it in a linear fashion so make sure it's that, uh, save type, all files, doesn't really matter. Make sure it's exported as a uh, movie to image sequence. And yeah, use that and click save. And what I'll do is, you can see right here, it's exporting those across into little uh, images. And wait for it, wait for a second. And that's done. Uh, so if I go to my my folder, which is here, YouTube, ref tut, and then you can see there's loads, 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 loads of images now. These are all my TIFF files, and what we're going to do is we're going to export all these into Maya. So what we do now, ignore my weird face. I don't need that anymore. Don't save. That's fine. Uh, let me just uh, create a new camera over here, so you don't need to see that. Um, create a new camera which is right there uh, I'm gonna call this my camera what should I call it uh, uh, ref cam just for, for you know reference sake wherever and there it is my reference cam let me just move this over there and get it pointed over there then what I want to do is go into the attribute editors you can either click control a which brings that up or you can just click in the top right corner there uh, and then go to should be environments somewhere there it is environments and click create and this creates like an image play in the background 
Then what you want to do, you're going to go to image name. Uh, right there, and click on that folder icon. Uh, find where you stored the images at. So it's thinking mind change. There it is YouTube ref tut. And all my files are there. Click on the very first one, not any other one. Uh, open that. Then, as you've probably noticed now, if I uh, drag the timeline, the bottom there, you can see there's nothing actually happening. And that's because we've not actually told it to um, link all the other ones at the minute. As you can probably see from these, from this nice filing convention, it goes ref01, ref02, 03, 04, and etc. until it ends to 75, because that's what I've set it up. What you want it to do is you want to say, right, okay, it starts there. I want it to use all of these when I drag this, uh, the timeline. So all you need to do for that is click use image sequence. Ah, my epiphany moment right there. Um, and all you need to do is drag it across. And you can see my reference is now working. So obviously it only goes up to 75. Uh, yes, so that's how you import reference. In the next tutorial, which I'm going to do in a second, is how you actually edit this in the timeline on the graph editor so you can slow it down, speed it up. Uh, it's quite useful. Uh, so I'll show you how to do that in the next tutorial. Peace.